Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over some of the new filters that Playground AI has come up with. These are Pop Art, Mix Punk, Fashion Magazine, Dark Comic and Kids Storybook. Of these, the Pop Art and Mix Punk are in the artistic category, the Fashion Magazine is in the realistic category and the Dark Comic and Kids Storybook are in the Comic and Anime category. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, I already have an entire playlist for Playground AI set up and in one of the videos, I tried out all the filters and I categorized the filters in four different categories. I think while Leonardo AI and Midjourney do a really good job at creating realistic designs, I think Playground AI has a lot of potential especially in the artistic and comic category and I think it could do really good in creating something like a comic strip. Before we get started, make sure to have your Playground AI account set up. I have explained all the different features of Playground AI in this playlist already. If this is your first time to my channel, I would like to welcome you. Please leave a comment telling me a little bit about your background so I know where you're coming from. Alright, let's get started. So for today's video, I'm going to use Mr. Bean again. I'm going to go to one of my previous generations, which is a headshot of Mr. Bean. I already have some exclusions here in place, which removes any deformations. I usually have a single picture selected here. So this is a headshot of Mr. Bean with no filters. Now let us try some of the new filters that Playground AI has come up with. So I think the dark comic is a really specific kind of filter which lets you create a comic strip in a specific theme. So let me do a first generation so you know what I'm talking about. So this is a very interesting black and white themed comic which reminds me of the old TV shows where there were no colors and they were showing in this black and white TVs. I, and I think there's a lot of potential here to create a very cool comic strip. Let me try the same image but with a different prompt. So instead of a headshot, I'm gonna say just Mr. Bean in a desert. You can create a whole storyline based on this dark comic theme. And if you don't like this face, you can of course just click edit and add a mask on the face right there. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, just go back to my playlist and I explain how to do this. And now I can just say add a helmet. So why did I add a helmet here? In my head, this looks like it's in a different planet and this is Mr. Bean as an alien in that planet. So that is just what I had in my imagination of this comic strip. And I have other ideas. Maybe I'll create a whole video about creating a comic strip from scratch. Add a comment if you would like to see that. And for this image, I can just click save changes and I can just download this image. All right, let's try the next one. So this one is also in the comic category, but it's more aimed towards kids. So it's called a kid's storybook. You can keep everything else the same and click generate. It's gonna generate Mr. Bean, but not as dark as the last one. To me, this does look like it's Mr. Bean as a kid, but I think there's a lot of wrinkles here. So maybe he's not a kid. Let me edit the prompt a little bit and just say Mr. Bean. All right, I think this is slightly more artistic and this is something you can use in a kid's storybook because it looks like a comic book character and it's not super threatening. It's kind of relaxing in a way. And maybe you can add a pet dog here. So if you do that and So now it kind of looks like a grandpa sitting here with his dog, reading a book, maybe narrating a story to the kids. And this can be the main character of the person who is reading the storybook to the kid. And there's a lot of ways you can use this. All right, let's try the next one. So this time I'm gonna go for fashion magazine. This is gonna be more in the realistic category and it's gonna look less like a comic book and more like a real person in a magazine. There we have it, Mr. Bean as a fashion model. And I can't really relate to this picture because I don't see Mr. Bean as a very serious character. I don't really like how serious these eyes are, so I can always add a mask here to add some sunglasses right there because this is kind of scary to me almost. So if you just say add sunglasses. I think this looks better with Mr. Bean as a model and the sunglasses do need some work, but I think that's dependent on the kind of mask I use here. I'm gonna go ahead and download this image because I think it's really cool. All right, the next filter I'm gonna use is pop art. So this one looks more in the artistic side. There we go, Mr. Bean in the pop art style. I don't think this portrait looks real enough to be in the realistic category, nor does it look as comical to be in the anime or comic category. And the last filter I'm gonna try is mix punk. I'm really thrown off by Mr. Bean and this blue steel look in all of these portraits. I'm more used to seeing him more casual or smiling, so this is really throwing me off. But I think that's what creativity is. It's Mr. Bean in this mixed punk style. I still would like Mr. Bean to smile more, so let me try with a smile. 
I think this is a lot more pleasant looking compared to this one. And you see how close these two generations are. It's just a slight change in expression. So if I say now, crying headshot. All of these generations, pretty close to each other. So this is more stern. This is more happy or smiling. And this one is more sad or crying. And I think this is where Playground AI really shines. It's not gonna move the generations too far away from each other. As you see, there's some things which are better in Playground AI than say Leonardo AI or even Mid Journey. And I just think Playground AI is just not getting the attention it deserves. But I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy this video, please click like and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.